For our final project, we're going to work with integrating some of the different facets of Microsoft Office. We've already worked with importing data from Excel into Access. In this project, we're going to work on integrating with PowerPoint. You're going to create an outline in Word. This is almost identical in Word 2013 and Word 2011. The only difference is that in the Mac version, you'll have to save as a rich text file when you're done. You're going to create a new Word document. Choose a blank document and change it in View to Outline View. This creates an outline where each level has a different heading type. You can change the level you're at up here, but it's easier to use Tab or Shift Tab. At the top, the first thing that we type will become Level 1. You'll type Productivity Programs. And then you'll list at least four of them. So you might list the four from Office. Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint. You could also list things like Photoshop, Illustrator, anything that would be used for office productivity. And then you'll go on and enter the rest of these, adding specific information for each one. So you would add laptops versus desktops. And you'd add four comparison points. If you hit Tab, it increases the indentation level, shift tab, moves it back. And so you can go through and type up your outline without having to do anything with the mouse using just the keyboard shortcuts. When you're done, you're going to save. If you're in Word 2013 on Windows, you can simply save it to your computer. And I'm just going to call it um, Final Project Outline. And I've obviously tested this, so I've already done it once. Now, if you're on the Mac, you have to file Save As. And you're going to have to change the file type to a rich text format, or .rtf. And then hit Save. So you'll finish creating the outline. Let's take a quick look at the outline. You're going to have to type bullets for each of these except for Excel where we're going to embed a graph and Access where you'll take a screenshot of, a t of the table in Design View and you'll paste that into your slide. Now to add them to PowerPoint you're going to start with a blank presentation and you'll choose New Slide slides from outline. And then you can choose your final project outline and choose insert. Again, if you're in the Mac version, you'll need to use the rich text format. That also works in the PC version, but you don't have to. Notice it will insert new slides, not replace the existing slide. You'll click to enter a title for your slideshow. And you can just call it Final Project. And enter your name as the subtitle. Pretty much you've done everything else and you're just going to be adding text. You'll add a design of your choice. And when you get to the Excel one, let me insert a blank slide. We're going to have you copy from Excel. And I want you to see, I'm going to use Control A to select everything. If you're on a Mac, it would be Command A. Make sure to then do Control C to copy and then you can bring it over to your slide. You can choose whether or not to have a title on this slide, but it will actually come in with one. 
I want you to notice that when you work from Excel, it's actually linked, meaning that if I make a change in Excel, so let's say I change the data the chart is based on and make the precipitation in April 8.5 inches, that's practically flooding things, but you'll notice that the entire graph is linked and it will change because they are linked together. And then for the access unit, you'll take a screenshot of one of the design view tables. So go ahead and complete the project, save it, you'll hand it in both onto Canvas as the assignment, and then you will add it to your portfolio because this becomes part of your graduation requirements.